Hi, I'm Brett. This is our next uh, video on our mini series in understanding the difference between a Spec C twin scroll turbo engine in a rally car and compared to what we're going to show you today is the single scroll setup in most common production cars. And what I've got beside me is the original parts out of the Spec C, which we've converted to a Tarmac Rally Car, and I'll discuss that in a minute, and check out our other videos um, so you understand what we're talking about here. But we're gonna be just talking about the differences between the turbos and the exhaust manifolds of these different cars. So in our previous video, you'll remember we spoke about um, the restrictor, which was in the original engine because it's a, um, a rally car, and rally cars in Australia have a, a, limiting, a power limiting device on the front of the turbo. We spoke about the twin scroll turbo, which um, was removed because it's a bit old and tired and they, after a period of time, um, do lose performance. And we've also spoken about the exhaust manifold. Now, the exhaust manifold on the rally car was replaced because you can't see it, but on the underside, it had a big whack and it was damaged. And the impact damage here, you can see where it's actually come up and hit the underside of the oil pump um, on the front of the engine. So this has been replaced. And what we've got beside me is a typical example of an exhaust manifold off a well, WRX or an STI, they're all pretty similar. The um, TDO4 Turbo, which off a WRX, if it's off of an STI, VF34, VF48, you name it. But the setup is fairly much the same and the intake under the inlet manifold. So let's just talk about a factory standard Subaru uh, production road car, single scroll setup. Now when they say single scroll setup, it's got one pipe that leads up to the underside of the turbo. So let's just explain how a turbo works and where all the energy comes from first. So you, what you've got to imagine here is the exhaust ports on either side of your engine, and we're looking up underneath. The exhaust goes out through these two collectors, join in the middle to, into one single collector across the front, and then the two sides collect together and go into the up-pipe. Early model cars have got a little tiny catalytic converter. Um, most current model cars don't, and there's a single pipe that leads into the underside of the turbo which is all the exhaust energy going out of the engine. So all of that energy gets um, directed up into the underside of the turbo and what you can't see there onto the side of the exhaust wheel, which then as it expands and comes out the back into the actual exhaust and down under the car, spins that wheel there, which is connected by a shaft through a bearing assembly, whether it's a bush bearing or a roller bearing, there are different SDI turbos and the TDO4 turbo on a Subaru WRX is not a roller bearing. And then that drives the inlet side of the turbo here, which then sucks in air, compresses it, generates boost in through the inner cooler and the whole system um, can, repeats itself. And it's controlled by the wastegate actuator on the exhaust side to control boost. So the intake side underneath the inlet manifold and behind the uh, power steering pump on most Subarus, you've got a plastic intake pipe which is solid and hard to resist vacuum, and the squishy end gets bolted up with a hose clamp on the front of the turbo there. So that is a single scroll turbo setup, pretty common these days, but when it comes to a twin scroll setup on Subarus, the only twin scroll road production road car sold in Australia was the Liberty um, 03 to 04, two liter, um, had an early model twin scroll, um, different exhaust manifold and all that kind of stuff. So let's explain the uh, setup on that engine because the uh, engine on the rally car is a two litre, engine on most production cars on Subaru is 2.5, but the basic package is very much the same. So again, we've got exhaust energy going down into the outlets and under and around the sump, collect together into two pipes, which then come around here into the up pipe, which is on the rally car which is this one sits like that with a gasket in between and you notice it still maintains two pipes and then up into the underside of the turbo with two pipes and then on the underside of the turbo two pipes again and what happens is on a twin scroll turbo it's designed for bottom end performance and really good throttle response and those two pipes are tuned length from the original outlets of the exhaust manifold, which is why you don't get a box of beat out of the early model twin scroll turbo setups, because the distance between these pipes here is common all the way up to the inside of the compressor on the exhaust housing on the turbo, and it's designed to constantly feed engine uh, firing pulses into these cylinders, uh, these pipes, which then 
um, direct the exhaust gases to the, com the exhaust wheel on the inside of the diameter of the wheel and the outside of the diameter of the wheel. Now, the reason why it does that is one side of the wheel generates throttle response um, and brings it on boost early because it can turn the, the turbo wheel um, quickly and easily, which is the wheel here. And you'll see it's a completely different size compared to the uh, TDO4. Look at the difference there. And you can see the difference. Um, and what it does is, depending on where it directs the exhaust energy onto the back side of that wheel, brings the turbo up to speed as quickly as possible. Because the speed at which that can spin and how quickly you can get it to start spinning is effectively the relationship of lag to generate boost. Now, when the two pipes lead in here, one will go to the inside diamond of the wheel and one will go to the outside diamond of the wheel. So one generates response and the other one generates torque on the wheel to maintain boost when it's up and speeding and generating the boost that you want to get out of this turbo assembly on the performance engine. Now you'll also notice because it's got two ports, it's also got two uh, wastegate outlets. So you'll notice the wastegate on, and I'll just turn them upside down so they're in the same way. You'll notice the shape on the back is different as well. One single wastegate outlet, two wastegate outlets, because this opens and closes to control uh, boost and this is the wasted energy that comes around the side of the exhaust wheel so you don't generate excess boost and the actuator on the arm here is all then controlled by the wastegate control cylinder which is then in, in turn controlled by the um, engine ECU and in the case of this particular car it's a MoTeC ECU because it's got all other heaps of inputs but you can tune the uh, factory ECU on these cars with Ecotec and race run technology so if you've got a road car um, Typically, um, these cars are a production road car in Japan, but when they come to Australia and other parts of the world, they use as rally cars because in Australia, most rally cars have to be a two litre engine capacity. They can't be any bigger. So this car is about to uh, get converted and is slowly being converted. It's on the dyno at the moment into a tarmac rally car. So there you have it. A uh, pretty basic description of what the difference is between a twin scroll and a single scroll. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that the twin scroll setup for big horsepower is a holy grail. The twin scroll turbos typically on most setups of Subarus are designed for what we call modest power, but really good bottom end torque. They're not designed for big horsepower outlet um, top end cars. Um, and um, they are a major conversion if you want to change the twin scroll turbo, but in the right circumstances are a fantastic opportunity to consider depending on what you choose to do with your car. So there you have it. Hopefully this video's um, helped you and not confused you. If you've got any questions, make a comment on this video channel. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our other videos on our whole video channel, but particularly on this rally car because it is my uh, weakness and uh, my passion. And I hope it's uh, helped you understand a little bit more about these parts and how they work. So no matter where you are in the world, if you need some tuning, remember we do do technical support and custom remote tunes all around Australia through our partner network. So check out mrttuned.com.au. But in the meantime, my name's Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.